Welcome back. This is the Tutor Wizard. I'm Adrian. Please subscribe right here and hit the notification bell. You'll get notifications for this series and many more on our channel. Today what we're doing is multivariable calculus. We're in chapter zero differential equations. Basically multivariable calculus usually somewhere along the line they do a little bit of ordinary differential equations first order and second order and they discuss this a little bit in solutions to these so we're going to do it as chapter zero before we do the three main chapters of multivariable calculus we're going to do chapter zero differential equations 0 0.1 section 0 0.1 is introduction to differential equations and this lecture what we're going to do is we're going to do the definition of a differential equation, the order of a differential equation, and linear versus nonlinear differential equations. Let's do the definition. Very nice. This is Jasper. Sorry, she's down here harassing me, so she wanted to see everybody. That's Jasper. Okay, definition. What is an ordinary differential equation or just differential equation? We will also call it an ODE or just DE. You'll see after we have later in the course when we do multivariable functions of more than one variable and we have uh, partial derivatives, then we can have partial differential equations also. So right now these are ordinary differential equations. What is that? It's an equation that has an independent variable x and a dependent variable y of x together with some derivatives y prime y double prime or the nth derivative possibly of that function y how we write that in general is just saying that we have some function which depends on the independent variable x and then y y prime up to possibly the nth derivative of y let's do some examples of that Okay, here's a couple of examples of differential equations, and then we're getting into get some details. Also, we're going to use y prime, we're going to say, for Newton's notation of a derivative, and then dy dx as Leibniz notation for the derivative. I'll interchange it. A lot of the time I will use Leibniz instead of this, but in many books and all of these lecture notes that you're going to see, they're going to use y prime or dy dx for the derivative. The first example is uh, the equation of a falling object with mass m, the gravitational force near Earth, and b is the air resistance. And then we have, we're going to do this next also, and we're going to talk about the difference between these two and what this is. This is called an, an initial condition. The second equation is a differential equation described that is involved in aerodynamics. We'll derive these eventually once we know how to do some of these. Possibly this one we won't talk about in this course because it's not constant coefficient. It is second order and we're going to, that's what we're going to talk about now. The difference, one difference between this one and this one is this one has the first derivative only and y, and this one has the second derivative and the first derivative and y. And what we're going to call that is the largest derivative appearing or the highest derivative appearing is going to be the order of the differential equation. And then these are initial conditions. Let's do that next. Okay, two other things, the terminology we need for a differential equation when we start that I'll throw around a lot when we just start discussing first order and second order differential equations is specifically their order. What is the order? The order n is the highest derivative of y appearing in the differential equation. The initial conditions of a differential equation give us a starting point at time or x values uh, where we're just gonna start analyzing the system and let it run forward from there. Initial conditions allow us to find the constant of integration and a unique solution for these differential equations.
All right, as an example, we are asked to find the order of each of these differential equations. Remember, the order is the highest derivative, but in some of the algebra and some of these, be careful, this is not the second derivative, this is the first derivative squared. So let's be careful. In this equation, we have a first derivative and a second derivative. This is Aries equation, I believe. And so what are we gonna do with this? This is order two. The highest derivative is the second derivative. In this one, we have the derivative and then just a constant and x. So the highest derivative is the first derivative. So this is order one. This has no derivatives. It just has a function of x. And this has a fourth derivative. So this is order four. This one's a little bit trickier. This one isn't the second derivative. What this one is, is a first derivative squared. So be careful with this one. This is order one. All right, the last concept of this video is going to be the notion of linear or nonlinear differential equations. A differential equation is called linear if it has this form. What does that essentially mean? What that essentially means is every term in here is either just a constant or a function of x or independent variable, or every term is a function of x times exactly one of the either y or one of its derivatives. This is what we call a linear differential equation. Otherwise, it's called nonlinear. Let's do some examples of that. As our last example, decide if each of these equations is linear or nonlinear. The first equation, this term is a function of x times uh, the second derivative, so that term is a linear term, that one's okay, but this one has x times y times the first derivative, which is bad, so this term is nonlinear. This is nonlinear. This is, term is just a constant, this term is just a function of x, this term is one times the first derivative, so this is a linear first order differential equation. Same with this one. This is just a function of x, and this is a function of x3, a constant function of x times the fourth derivative of y, so this is a linear. And this one, the brackets to Crohn problem, this is the ODE we get from trying to solve this. You can look at what the brackets to Crohn problem actually is. It's trying to find the path such that no matter where you start on this, it'll take the same time to reach the bottom. Anyways, solving this ODE gives the, that curve, and this is the first derivative squared, and then we have times y, so this is definitely nonlinear. Please subscribe right here and hit the notification bell. You can follow me at Adrian the Tutor on Facebook or Tutor underscore Inc. on Twitter. I'll see you next time, and we'll do more differential equations.